YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's Engraven here with another video and in this video I'm here to share my post game thoughts from the game we all watch together shout out to everybody that came through for the stream uh, between the Ravens and the Cardinals um, and this game it was fun because it Ravens they were doing their normal preseason thing they were blowing the Cardinals out but then something happened the Cardinals they just start clawing their way back and, and, and clawing back and clawing back and then boom uh, Darius Washington, he made a big play, a big stop on fourth down that sealed the Ravens' victory um, by seven. But anyway, in this game, uh, Tyler Huntley, he went 13 for 14 for 129 yards uh, and one touchdown. Um, Tyler Huntley, he was doing his thing. Um, he, it's a, a lot of short stuff, but hey, it, as long as you're getting that job done, right? Um, I, I feel like Tyler Huntley... He doesn't necessarily have anything to prove this offseason. I mean, you, you still, of course, want to see him go out there and ball out. But the, the number two job is, is his. It is his. And not saying that he should be lax or anything like that. Like, oh, yeah, I'm, I, I got it all locked up. I'm the number two quarterback behind Lamar. I ain't saying he should be that. But what are we hoping to see from Tyler Huntley uh, that will really be like, oh, yeah. Because the decision-making has been there, and the decision-making continues to, to be good. Um, he didn't throw any almost picks. I'm trying to think of what, what the incompletion was, and I just can't remember right now off the top of my head. Um, but Tyler Manager, has con I'm, Tyler Manager, Tyler Huntley has continued uh, to be a, uh, a, a game manager. He's, he's a game manager. Um, so my favorite play from him was probably his, his, uh, his throw to Makai Polk. Uh, Tyler was scrambling. Of course, he, he was getting pressured all night as usual. Um, but he scrambled to the right and Makai Polk, he was on the right side at first, but then Makai Polk, he ran to the left or he ran sort of in the middle of the field. Then he was open. Tyler Huntley threw across his body, got Makai Polk and Makai Polk. He had some daylight, but then he had some. He ended up having some uh, some Cardinals defenders around him, so he tried to make a miss, and then he slipped up, and I was like, "Oh, I felt so bad for him because I really wanted him to get that touchdown." Um, but yeah, so Ty Tyler Huntley, he 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 was solid uh, in the game against the Cardinals. Um, Anthony Brown, Anthony Brown, uh, he went ten for thirteen uh, for ninety one yards uh, with two touchdowns, uh, but then one interception. Now with the interception, um, it was just it was just a bad throw. Looked like a little miscommunication or whatnot. Um, but the touchdowns, uh, one of them was to uh, number 11, Rally Ware. And I think he's from Baltimore. Um, and the other one, man, who was the other? Oh, to Beatty, to, to, to Tyler Beatty. Uh, so it was, uh, it was nice to see him getting some different guys involved. Uh, some new guys got in the end zone. Um, now with Tyler Huntley's touchdown. Who is that too? And I mean, that'll be a nice little segue to our next position group, the tight ends. Isaiah likely continues to ball out. Now me, after the first drive, Isaiah likely had a couple catches, broke that long one, um, was doing his thing. I was like, hey, take him out. Take him out. He, he don't got nothing to prove anymore. His preseason should be done. And definitely after the, tonight, it should be done. It should be a wrap. He does not need to sniff the field in a preseason at all anymore. He doesn't. For what? There's no point. So, yeah, just let, let him relax. But he is, he's been doing his thing. I love it. And I was thinking, like, man, Isaiah likely has been doing this in a preseason. So all the stuff we kept hearing about him in training camp has been translating to the field. But. Something to think about. Right now, he's doing this against some guys that are backups and whatnot. So, soon he's going to be playing against guys that are starters. So, the, the challenge could increase. The, the, the toughness could increase. But, he's also going to be surrounded by starters. So, that will help him out that much more. And if he can continue doing the same thing he's been doing, now he'll have a Mark Andrews on the field. Now he'll have a Rashad Bateman on the field. Now he'll have a J.K. Dobbins on the field. Now I have a Lamar Jackson on the field. So that can make his job that much easier, having all those guys around him. And then he can in turn help them make their jobs that much easier. We have all loved, absolutely loved what we've seen from Isaiah Likely. It's, it's been a beautiful thing. 
Uh, and with the Ravens, again, I, I was hoping that they were going to take him off the field. Uh, but the Ravens were like, nope, we're we going to make sure you get this, this, uh, this touchdown first before we take you off the field. And that touchdown pass from Tyler Huntley, ooh, it was perfect right in there. And I, I loved it, man. And Tyler Huntley had a couple of throws like that. That was the best one, though. It was literally right in there. So shout out to Snoop. Um, st sticking with the tight ends. Something that was very interesting. I don't know. Josh, Josh Oliver had like a catch or two as well. Um, but Nick Boyle. Nick Boyle was playing well late into this game. Definitely in the third quarter. I want to say some in fourth quarter too. But definitely late into the third quarter he was playing. And I was thinking, hold up now. Because well, it's just, just weird. Because why wouldn't Josh Oliver be playing there? Nick Boyle. Nick Boyle is a former like starter. Um, sort of one A one B type of tight end that he used to be or that he was, um, but and I know he did say he wants to play in the preseason. I know he said that, but still, I was just thinking, hmm, why is Nick Boyle still out there on the field? It was just very weird. I was very like, okay, I, this is different. I'm not expecting that, but we'll see. Um, offensive line, uh, the blocking just. Wasn't really there like that. I mean, it was pressure all night. Uh, Fire Lele, um, he had the scare where he went down. He was holding his knee and whatnot. And I'm thinking, oh, boy, here we go. Um, but then, so he came out of the game. Then the Ravens brought him back in. They, they, they had him play again. And I was just thinking, like, what? For what is the reason that we're having him play again? I don't, I don't understand it. Because I just I didn't get it. I didn't know why they... they Put him back in the game Because I'm thinking like Man like our offensive line Like the guys who's supposed to let, Play left tackle Ronnie Stanley's still out Hopefully he'll be back soon uh, Juwan James He's supposed to be Left tackle for now uh, Hold it down for While Ronnie Stanley's out He ain't played in a couple years either So it's like I, I just If it was me I just would not risk Putting him back out there tonight If it was me His preseason would be done <laughs> That'd be a wrap for five lately Um they uh they kept speaking of Ben Powers being a starter. They mentioned it again. Hey, yeah, Ben Powers expected to start, but they had him playing with center, and even though he's supposed to start at guard. And I, I, I still think that they're going to trade him. I think they're just trying to show, hey, this dude can play these different positions and whatnot. So, well, we'll see. We'll see. Tyree Phillips. Oof. Tyree Phillips. I, I, I felt bad for him because I think he had like three penalties tonight. Um, and it was rough, man. It, it, it was, he was he was struggling big time out there uh, at at tackle, and it, it it was rough. It was really rough. Um, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen with him. Um, I was thinking that he was gonna be the winner of that left guard spot after the night. I don't know, cause I was thinking he had a leg up on Ben Cleveland, cause Ben Cleveland he kept failing the conditioning test, but. Right now, so I, right now I think it goes to Ben Cleveland, but hey, it's to be determined. We'll see. Uh, and yeah, that's it. That's it as far as the offensive line. I think there was a, there was one play where there was a bad snap. I think it was like a super low snap with the, with from Cologne, um, Tristan Cologne, to Tyler Huntley, and Tyler Huntley he handed the ball off to I think Justice Hill, but the Cardinals ended up being in the backfield and they they broke that all the way up. Uh, as far as Ravens receivers, um, really quiet night. Uh, from the receivers I know of course uh, Webb he had that beautiful touchdown uh, From Anthony Brown um, But other than that Like looking at the numbers Webb had two catches uh, For 46 yards Makai Polk had one catch for 19 Bailey Gaither two for 18 Shamar Bridges one for 8 uh, So yeah that was it Quiet, quiet night from the receivers Overall uh, especially compared to last week when Shamar Bridges was doing his thing last week, Makai Polk was doing his thing last week. And that's something that we were hoping to see this week was just consistency, just them building up on what they started last week. And with Shamar Bridges, I know one of the passes was, uh, it just, it, it sailed it. So it was, was that one from Huntley or was that from Anthony? Maybe that was the Huntley incompletion. Uh, maybe I don't remember whether it's Anthony Brown or Huntley, but either way, um, the ball sailed, so Shamar didn't even really have a chance. Now, the one catch that he did have, uh, I commended him a lot because it was, it was a timing route, um, but it looked like Shamar Bridges saw the ball late, but he reached him long arms up, and he sure caught it, and, and it, it ended up being good, and he got whacked, too. It was a nasty hit he took to the back, 
But um, he held on to the ball and stayed in bounds, and it, it was beautiful. Um, Webb, Webb is like, he's like a little sneaky slot guy, man. And, and I, I hope he ends up somewhere. I, 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 I just hope he ends up on the team just to see uh, if he can be that little, little Wes Welker, little Danny Amendola, something like that. Uh, if he ends up being in New England or if he ends up um, – or, or the, the Bucks, they put him on a practice squad just so Brady could just have him ready because, you know, they like signing a bunch of receivers over there and whatnot. But you know, I, I was happy to see him uh, get the touchdown. Because even last week, he had a real nice catch on the deep pass from, from Anthony Brown, too. Yeah, this is, so they, they got them a little connection there. They got them a little connection. But, yeah, so that was pretty much it from the wide receivers. So, super, super quiet. Um, on defense, uh, Travis Jones. Continues to be doing as advertised, looking the part, looking good. So that was nice to see. Um, Mac, Mac looked good too. Then there was that series where uh, Nichols got a sack and um, not Josh Ross. Was it Ross? Man, I can't remember who. Oh, I can just look it up. I'm tripping. I'm over here making. See, I always talk about making stuff easy, easier for yourself. But I, I'm over here making stuff harder. Uh, so Nichols had one, and oh Wiley, oops, okay Chuck Wiley, oh he had one and a half sacks, okay I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, it, it, so the, the 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 pass rush was up and down tonight, but when they get hot they get hot. Uh, Adafe away really quick, he he looked great. He was only out there for a super small sample size, but he looked great, man. Adafe away looks ready, but like even last week he was out there for a little bit, looked really good. Uh, so. We're going to need him. We're going to need him for sure. Dalen Hayes, uh, he struggled a bit tonight. Um, and it's, it's, it's been a little rough for him. Uh, Malik Harrison, he had a good night, made some solid tackles, stopped Trace McSorley right at the goal line, had a tackle in the backfield that really changed uh, uh, that drive for the, the Cardinals. Actually, that was on the same drive, I believe, because first they got the first down um, right on the goal line. Then Malik Harrison on either – First down or the next second down, he ended up getting a big stop in the backfield. So that pushed him back. And then they, that ended up holding him to a field goal on that drive. So, yeah, Malik Harrison was doing this thing tonight. So that was good. Josh Ross, he knows that Ravens are thin at linebacker. And he like, he's playing like, hey, I'm trying to get me a spot. I'm trying to get me a spot. Um, he made some hard hits. He doesn't have the best speed in the world, but he's a really physical linebacker and I mean it's the linebacker position you expect him to be physical but Ross is like very physical he's a thumper he's a thumper reminds me uh, a little bit of Malik Harrison um Christian Welch I didn't notice him tonight I don't know if he played or not I'm really not sure I haven't really been hearing his name like that so we'll see we'll, we'll see what happens with him um cornerbacks some secondary so cornerbacks Pepe Williams Hey, love it. Love it. He ended up getting an interception. Uh, Kyle Fuller, he got that nice interception. Both of the interceptions were nice. Uh, I was hoping that, because uh, since Pepe Williams started running, I was hoping it would be a pick six, but it wasn't. But still, he got the pick. And he's he's been making plays every game. So he's been consistent. He's stacking. He is stacking. I feel like I wouldn't want to play him in the third preseason game. There's no point. For what? So we'll see. But he's been making plays at corner, and he's such a comfortable punt returner as well. So I wonder if that is going to be his because they ain't play anybody else at punt return tonight, I don't believe. And we know that was Devin DuVernay's job last year. Um, before, it used to be a little bit of Prochet's job, but then they took Prochet off and put Devin DuVernay on there. So it's looking like Pepe Williams, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, or Darius Washington. Oh, man. Started off rough. Because he had that touchdown caught, in him, caught on him in the back of the end zone. It was, it was such a beautiful throw and pass and catch and everything. It was just perfect. Um, but then he bounced back. It was like him and 31 from the Cardinals. They were like having a little battle. Uh, and it, it was a fun battle to watch. But Ardarius Washington, he ended up getting the best of it. Uh, it was like they, they were doing the best two out of three. Because first number 31 for the Cardinals, he won. He caught the touchdown on him. Then Ardarius Washington, he was covering him in the slot, and he had like a pass breakup. Then Ardarius Washington on that fourth down. That, that's, so it was 1-1. It was tied. But then Ardarius Washington on that fourth down play to end the game, he ended up uh, just breaking it up. So that was really good, man. Um, I think it's going to be really, really tough for him to make the roster, though. Because it, it, the Ravens, especially at safety, 
Even though Tony Jefferson tonight, ooh, this this was not his night. This was not his night. And Geno Stone, you didn't really hear too much from him. Um, but tonight was not Tony Jefferson's night. Just missed the missed tackles, man. The missed tackles. It, it, it was rough, man. Um, so, yeah, it, it wasn't pretty tonight. Uh, but hopefully it's just a, it was just a little off. Hopefully man, you might have been like having a little jitters and whatnot. Like, oh man, I'm I'm back here in Arizona. I'm coming back home. This where everything started at for me as an undrafted guy. Da, 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 da. So hopefully that's what it was. Uh, Brandon Stevens, he was also having a little battle with um, Andy Isabella. They were going back and forth, and he was covering him. And the Isabella was they they kept going against each other, and I love to see it. He made probably my favorite, one of my favorite, yeah, probably my favorite play on defense. And I, lo I love the interceptions now. You know, those are turnovers and that gets you the ball back. But I, I love the, the pass breakup from Brandon Stevens on deep passes. Deep pass intended for Isabella. Brandon Stevens was running with him stride for stride. And he dove and hit the ball up. And it, it was just a beautiful thing. They did call pass interference. And it was like, ah, it was a little iffy. And I was like, I don't know. But it, it was a wonderful play. I'm just, I was just really glad it's the preseason because I'm like, ah, if they would have called that in regular season, I would have been really upset. Um, Kevon Seymour, he, he, he struggled a bit. Uh, who else? Oh, the rookie, Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton, uh, he is, is up and down. Um, Kyle Hamilton, he, uh, he got turned around by uh, one of the Cardinals, little short slot receivers, a quick, quick guy, I think number 83. He had Kyle Hamilton spinning around in circles. I said, whoa. Um, and then there was another play where Trace McSorley, it was a, a, around a goal line where Trace McSorley, he snapped the ball, and it looked like he was going to run into the end zone. Kyle Hamilton, he was supposed to, he was covering the running back, and he was covering him for a little bit, but when Trace looked like he was going to run to the end zone, Kyle Hamilton came up, and Trace threw to the running back. The running back ended up being wider open because Kyle Hamilton came up, and he was getting ready to try to get Trace. Um, but... The running back ended up dropping it. So, ooh, thank goodness for that. But the, that I'm sure they're going to do a lot of reviewing with Kyle Hamilton on that play. I didn't think it was too bad, but I do understand how it was bad because it's like it, he's instinctive. He's like, all right, the quarterback looked like he's trying to run. Let me go chase him. Let me go try to hit him. But then at the same time, you, you still got to take care of your guy who's in the end zone and just hope your, your guys up front, they take care of that. So, But then he did also have a, a nice pass breakup. Uh, where Trace McSorley tried to throw it into Kyle Hamilton. All six, four of them jumped up, pop, and knocked it down. So that was a good play. Um, Jordan Stout, the punter, had some nice punts, uh, and he's been as advertised too, been doing his thing. Uh, and then he had some field goals too. I said, all right, Ravens, there we go. And shout out to Justin Tucker for showing the ultimate sign of humility because this dude, best kicker in the league, one of the best kickers of all time. Um, some could even say he is the best kicker of all time. And I, I wouldn't argue with you on that. But Justin Tucker just got another contract extension. And so he could be, hey, I'm, I'm the best kicker in the league. I just got paid again. I don't need to be holding. No, he was out there holding. He was out there holding for a rookie, Jordan Stout, on point after touchdowns in week two of the preseason. And I was like, oh, Justin, that makes us love you so much more. Even more than we already did. So Justin Tucker, keep doing your thing. Uh, but yeah, that was um, that was that. I, I was a little bit, uh, I was, I was pretty frustrated with, with, with the Ravens with um, with the way that they were playing some of the guys, uh, like with Travis Jones. Um, I I thought that he was out when he got injured. I didn't know he, that he was even still playing in the game. I'm thinking like, why why would you still have him out there? And then of course, like we mentioned earlier with Daniel Falele, them bringing him back out, especially with offensive like with the offensive line and how banged up they've been over the years. It's like, nah, I, I just wouldn't do it. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not a coach. But anyway, um, Ravens, again, they, they continued their streak 22 in a row. They haven't lost a preseason game since 2015. That is seven years, man. And now next week they have an opportunity uh, to extend the streak for to make it eight years. Because that'll be the last preseason game. And they won't play another preseason game until 2023. So we'll see what they do. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, you know they're going to be going forward and extending, trying to extend that record uh, even more. Oh, but anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all for supporting. Thanks to everybody that came out to the stream. We had a lot of fun like we always do. We have a little party in there every time. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all have a great week. We out.